it's still Friday. I'm back out of the shed as you probably gathered. Oh, now you can see me parrots. Wrong way. Why do I always go the wrong way with this camera? I just got told off because my son said, is that your new camera? And I went, no, it's, it's all the old camera. <laughs> uh, and I've come back in. I think I'm done for the day, actually. I've got a lot of pricing to do. But I need to take a deep breath. I'm now on orange. I'm really dry. It's those painkillers I'm taking. I don't like taking them because they send me fuzzy headed. I had to go back to bed this morning because it sent me sleepy. That's why I hate taking them. But when you're in pain, you do, don't you? I put the buttons on the little baby's cardigan. It's got the basket stitch. There isn't a pattern for it. I use the stitches from another design and just put the basket stitch on it. Um, I need to, like I said, price that up. I've also I blocked this out to make it spread out a bit better and I put the little ties on the front. Um, this one's it was, oh I can't remember, my brain's gone today. I did tell you what it was when I showed it on the first uh, video that I made. Um, it was a free pattern, I think it was by Moogly if I'm not mistaken. And the wool was a ball of red heart that I had. This one you've seen before, it was um, the pattern by the Red Heart Twins, not the Red Heart Twins, the Double Stitch Twins on Red Heart. I think the pattern's still available, maybe on Karen, I don't know. And I put the little, I ran out of white so it had to have the lilac ties on that one. What I was doing yesterday, um, I was doing mandalas which I've just thrown on the floor. Oh gosh. I used an embroidery frame and um, I can't remember which way around, it was that way around I think. I put beads on the bottom and I used a mandala pattern that was in um, the book I showed you the other day. I think it was called Mindful Crochet. Oh, excuse me. This one in the pinks it's just got three little ties on that one in the bright pinks again that's a small one this is the size it should have been but I only had one one large embroidery frame this is what it should have looked like I had to stop the other one short I'm hoping that these will sort of attract you know on the store if nobody buys them at least they'll spot them won't they it's the same with the um, you know, the poncho. I'm hoping that people will like to see it, yeah. <coughs> oh dear me, excuse me. I'm not feeling tip top today. Um, I've got me, those are my labels and my string ready. Got my pen. And that's why I'm here in the, uh, in the conservatory. Oh dear. As I say, I am not 100%. I'm hoping that a good night's sleep tonight might cure all. This is a little hideous poncho that I made a while ago with some brighter colours. There's no fringe on that. The trouble is, you see, if I fringed it with white now, I don't know whether it would be the same white. And I don't have the colours left that I used in the first place. I suppose I could put any colour of fringe, it wouldn't really matter, but... And then I found my little boho tops, which I'm hoping may sell, because the weather's going, hopefully going to be nicer. So I found my little tops, that's what I went into the shed to look for. The little ones with the lace-up backs. I've got the lemon one, I've got a green one. Lime green. I sold a couple of them last time, but, you know, and I've got a cream one with a different, oh no, it's got the same pattern at the bottom, and a pink one, I think this is different, yes it is, this is a different pattern, this has got a deeper 
uh, deeper band underneath, yeah. I watched that home, Greek home, was it called on telly the other day, where that lady's bought a house in Skiathos and she's doing it up. And her daughter was wearing one of these in a very bright green. <laughs> I thought somebody wears them. And then I've got one left in blue, blue random. I didn't take these to the last craft show because it was sort of Christmas time. And I didn't really think anybody would <laughs> want to wear them over Christmas. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't have a chest infection, according to the second GP. Yes, yeah, so I did find the ball of very fine cotton in the, uh, in the shed. Maybe I'll make another mandala. I won't be ready for tomorrow, but maybe I'll make a fine mandala with it. It'd be nice for a nursery, wouldn't it, that, really? Nice for a bit. Well, the little girl's nursery, it's got a bit of pink in it. I don't know what else I've got in here. <laughs> it's too cozy. I think this is cute, but nobody has tea cozy teapots anymore, do they? My tea cosy. Yeah. I did have another couple, but I don't know where they were. And to be quite honest, I wasn't going to be looking. I found the plastic bags that I was looking for. I found the bunting that I was looking for. I love this bunting. I should make myself some more. You know, for in my bedroom maybe, right across the underneath the wardrobe. I did it all in shades of purples. Yeah. I mean, this is ages old. Somebody said to me, are you selling it? But I mean, it's ages old. So I don't think anybody wants to buy it. It's been around the block a few times, you know. It's not exactly pristine. And then I've got to iron the tablecloth. It's actually a wall hanging. It was sent to me um, by Grace, I think. It's faded in a couple of parts. Unfortunately, I left it in the sunshine, so I couldn't use it as a, a wall hanging anymore because it was left on the window bottom, I think, and it's faded. But if I iron it, it makes a nice tablecloth. Yeah, it was sent to me by Grace, what was she called? Oh, I don't know what, I can't remember. See, the brain has gone today, it's just gone, completely gone. She does all the uh, 5D. 4D, 3D, whatever it's called. The diamond painting, anyway. She does all of that. Sorry if I keep drinking, but my mouth is so dry. It's those painkillers. I'm not making a big video because I've got things to do today. And as you can tell by my demeanour, I'm not feeling 100%. I'll be back.